So I've had plenty of emails from you asking why I've changed the way that I retard or cold proof my sourdoughs. In some videos I leave it uncovered in the fridge and then in others I place it in a plastic bag. So in this video I'm going to share my experiences and what I've learned from both methods and why it's your fridge and not me that holds the answer. So cold proving or retarding our sourdough in the fridge has many benefits. I mean it improves the flavour, the dough cools down making it easier to score and less likely to spread out when we come to bake it. It helps us schedule our baking easily and it allows that final part of the fermentation process to happen without too much danger of the dough over fermenting. And then while it's cold proving we want the dough to dry out ever so slightly on the outside and create a thin skin. That helps with creating some structure for the dough and makes it easy to score. But what we don't want is the dough to dry out too much otherwise that's going to have a negative effect on the oven spring and the quality of the final loaf. Now for quite some time I was proving my dough in my little backup fridge which is now my little fermentation fridge and I'd leave the dough uncovered after shaping, you know, I'd pop it in the basket and then straight into the fridge in the afternoon and then take it out the next day ready for baking. The dough developed a skin but it never ever dried out. It was really easy to score and it sprang beautifully in the oven. So at this point I couldn't really understand why everybody seemed to be covering their sourdough with a bag. It kind of seemed, well, completely unnecessary. And then over some time some of you were kind of reporting back to me about your experiences proving both covered and uncovered. Now some of you were really really pleased with the results but others were wondering why the dough was drying out so much and kind of turning into a brick. Now the difference in results could only be down to one thing so I decided to spend the next few weeks proving my dough in a different fridge. I was going to prove it overnight in my kitchen fridge just to see if there was any difference. And it was like night and day, proving uncovered in my kitchen fridge dried the dough out excessively, ruining the oven spring and the final texture of the bread. So my backup fridge has got a plate on the back of it which cools down to manage the temperature of the fridge. Now during that process moisture collects on the plate and it freezes and then it thaws and this creates some humidity. So the way this specific fridge functions means that I can prove my sourdough uncovered without it drying out. But my kitchen fridge is different. It's got what's called a multi-airflow system I think and it uses a series of vents to gently circulate cold air and it's this airflow that blows over the top of my dough and works its way through the basket and dries it out. Now if you've watched my video on dehydrating sourdough starter you'll have seen just how effective a fan can be at drying out sourdough. Well if your fridge has got air circulating within it the same thing will happen to the dough. Now the ingredients you keep in your fridge and the way they're stored or covered will also affect the humidity levels. The drier the microclimate in your fridge the more likely your dough is to dry out. Where you place the dough in the fridge will also give different results. So which method should you choose? Well proving your dough covered or inside a plastic bag is probably the easiest way to go. The basket or the cloth liner that the dough is in contact with will absorb enough moisture to create a slightly drier outer skin. And don't worry, proving your dough in a plastic bag won't cause it to stick to the basket if you've got your dough hydration dialed in correctly and it hasn't over fermented. But remember that you don't need to seal the bag completely if you're a little bit worried. You could leave it slightly open. Now if your fridge doesn't have built in airflow and the atmosphere inside it isn't too dry then leaving your dough uncovered will work perfectly. Experiment! Everyone's microclimate in their fridge will be slightly different so see what works best for your situation. Now remember there isn't one size that fits all. If working as a chef over these last I don't know 20 odd years has taught me anything it's that there are many different ways to cook or to bake the same ingredient. Some applications suit certain circumstances but other methods could work equally well. It all depends on the situation. Learn to be flexible in your approach and test different methods to see what suits you the best. Don't be too rigid. Now if you've got any other questions that you'd like me to dive a bit deeper into let me know 
and I'll shoot some more of these videos. A huge thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Stay tuned.